Tonight is a night to reflect on America's promise and the changes we need to keep it alive for generations to come, just as it was kept alive for all of us. Now I'm a descendant of Irish immigrants. My great-grandmother worked as a maid in the home of President William Howard Taft. Decades later, the president's grandson and my father, the grandson of the maid, served back to back to represent the same district in Congress. Now that's the American dream. It's my story, and it's the story of millions of others. Last night, we heard Barack Obama's story, how the son of a single mother from Kansas, through hard work and perseverance, has come within reach of the White House. Barack Obama was raised by a family of pragmatic, hardworking Kansans who believed in faith, and family, and community. Barack's grandfather, Stanley Dunham, told him there's nothing any American can't do if he or she is willing to work hard enough. It's the same idea that's written in the seal of Kansas, ad astra per aspra, to the stars through difficulty. Today, we're facing huge challenges at home and abroad. For too many families, America's promise has been shattered, foreclosed, and laid off. For too many families, reaching the star seems more difficult than ever before. For generations of Americans, owning a home has been a piece of the dream. Yet today, that dream has become a nightmare for millions of families perched on the edge of foreclosure. Barack Obama has a plan to save the dream for families who have lost their homes or fear they can never afford one, unlike John McCain, who has so many he can't keep track of them all. Now, I'm sure you all remember that girl from Kansas who said, there's no place like home. Well, in John McCain's version, there's no place like home, or a home, or a home, or a home. Millions of Americans are proud to make their homes in rural communities, where values are passed down from generation to generation like the family farm. Too many in Washington are willing to write off these communities as part of the America of the past but not Barack Obama. He'll help us re revitalize rural America by harnessing our natural assets, creating green jobs, and linking the heartland to America's future. Barack Obama knows it's time to end tax breaks for Wall Street and give tax breaks to Main Street, but not John McCain. He believes in country club economics. He wants more tax cuts for big corporations while giving only a third of the middle class tax relief that Barack Obama will deliver. Barack Obama knows it's time to help the people who focus on hedgerows more than hedge funds, but not John McCain. He supports tax breaks for companies that move jobs overseas. Barack Obama wants to give tax breaks to companies that create jobs right here at home. Barack Obama knows that after a life of hard work, especially after years of working the land or working in factories, you deserve to retire in security. So he'll cut taxes for all seniors who make less than $50,000 a year. He'll make it easier for every worker to save and build a nest egg. And Barack Obama will strengthen Social Security, but not John McCain. He wants to privatize Social Security, putting at risk your retirement and your future. John McCain promises more of the same. Barack Obama will deliver the change we need. We need that the fuel for the, our heartland can be found in the grasses and crops that grow in our fertile prairies. The energy for tomorrow is there in the clean, renewable power of the steady winds that blow across our fields. Investing in American energy will create five million new green jobs jobs that will re revitalize many of our communities, jobs that can never be outsourced to a foreign supplier. Now, even though John McCain has spent 26 years in Washington voting over and over again against investing in renewable energy, John McCain does support some renewables. He wants to renew the failed Bush agenda for another four years. John McCain has also renewed the Bush-Rove style of politics. 
built on bringing down your opponent instead of lifting America up. But as a governor who works with the Republican legislature every day, I can tell you we can't bring about positive change unless we fix our divisive politics. We need to heed the words of another president who came out of Illinois at a difficult time to lead this country. A man who warned us that a house divided against itself cannot stand. With Barack Obama as our president, together we'll turn the page on the politics of the past. We will create opportunities that once again will make this country a place where the children of presidents and the children of maids share a common destiny, where once again we can reach through the difficulties and touch the stars. That's the kind of change America needs. Thank you.